Hello everyone, Alien Volt here, and I am playing Elder Scrolls Online. And Elder Scrolls Online just went free to play, or rather buy to play. You buy the game, there is no longer a monthly subscription plan to play it. Now, a lot of people felt that the game should have actually been a buy to play from the very beginning. Like any other Elder Scrolls game, Skyrim or anything else. Um, but what they really don't understand is that to pay for the servers, the maintenance, the expansions, the DLC, the cost has to come from somewhere. And let's be realistic here. The price of games hasn't really changed much in the 20 years that I've been gaming. Now what do you get for Elder Scrolls Online? Well, you get a very immersive game that has three different faction storylines to go through, a ton of side quests, in-game content, raids, PvP, solo and group dungeons, as well as one of the best crafting systems I've seen in an MMO. Now, you may not have the graphic fidelity of the single player game like Skyrim with all the uh, HD mods, but it's still a very, very good looking game, especially for an MMO. Now when you add all that up, is it worth the $59.99? Absolutely. I really do believe it is. You'll easily spend hundreds of hours going to the storyline and achievements. Is it going to feel like a single player Skyrim? No, it's not. It's an MMO. It's not meant to be. There's going to be some grinding. You know, there are going to be quests that are designed to take you further away because you don't want a thousand people grouped up in one small area doing a quest. But is it worth it? Absolutely. I mean, how many times have you played Skyrim and wished that you could play with your friends at the same time they're with you in the game? Even if it was like a co-op mission? Probably a lot. This gives you that opportunity. Of course, you will sacrifice a little bit of the richness and you know, RPG element of Skyrim for the MMO element of Elder Scrolls Online, but it's still a very good game. And as long as you understand the difference between an RPG and an MMO, I don't think you're going to be disappointed. For me, just going into the world of Tamriel and being able to see everything from the previous Elder Scrolls games from 1994 with Arena, the Daggerfall, you know, the Battlespire and Redguard, Morrowind, Oblivion, Skyrim, and see it all in one place. To see it all on a new engine, you know, looking better than it's ever looked before, was worth it. And I really enjoy this game. Now, like I said, it does still have some bugs that are more specific for PvP. Um, especially with the more recent patch where they redid the combat system specifically with the AOEs and it's caused some lag issues. They just did a patch that's actually kind of cleaned that up a little bit but you've still got issues with the ping and uh, frames per second drop in PvP when you get that many people in there on top of each other from different factions. And I'm not talking like 20 people in a small area or a room. I'm talking like 120 to 200 people in an area. Right on top of each other, doing AoEs, you know, all the spell animations. It's a lot. They've really got to find a way to fix that. Because right now, PvP, when you've got entire raid groups that crash, that's not playable. But outside of PvP, it's awesome. I mean, the raid content, the dungeons, the crafting system alone. I mean, how many games can you go in and craft a set of armor that's better or as good as anything you're going to find in dungeons? Not very many. This happens to be one of them. You can customize and personalize your gear to suit your needs and your, you know, your looks, your preferences. It's awesome. 
And even with the broken PvP elements in place, PvP is still a very rewarding experience. Now it can be frustrating when your entire raid group crashes, and it will happen, but the gameplay itself and the organization, you know, playing with a large group of people rolling through, you know, with three or four different raid groups, working together to take a single objective is a pretty fun feeling. I mean, you just don't get that anywhere else. This game is definitely worth full price and I do recommend it. Hope you enjoy the video. See you next time.